hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we want to look at five psychological hacks for studying everyone has their own way of studying but there are a few more methods that you can add to improve your learning and thinking ability we have come up with a list of study hacks for you these strategies are not only tried and tested but also backed by research and science the first hack we want to look at is chunking. So professionals in the psychological field are aware of this idea. Chunking refers to cutting down or dividing tasks into smaller chunks that are manageable. In studies, the theory states that it's easier for people to remember information when it's divided into smaller chunks as opposed to trying to cram all the ideas of a particular topic all at once. Students who are used to cramming, taking a lot of information and hence their brains are unable to process all the information and therefore they tend to forget a lot of what they have studied. Chunking is one way of tackling loss of knowledge by cramming. If you find yourself in a situation, probably getting ready for an exam where you need to grasp vast chunks of information but within a limited time frame. You can try to group facts based on common characteristics. The next thing we want to look at is taking breaks in between long study sessions. There is nothing wrong with occasionally studying for long sessions. You may at times be required to commit to them. However, be sure to give yourself short breaks as you study. Studies have proven that when we try to focus on a single task for a long time, the mind tends to wander. This is the same situation as when you hear the same sound over and over again and you become so used to it that you hear it as a background sound in the mind. The same applies when you are trying to focus on a specific task. Taking short breaks can help you regain your focus and use study time more effectively. The next thing we want to look at is taking notes by hand. In this generation, we might think that handwritten notes are an old school way of studying. Studies have however shown that students who write their notes on paper learn and grasp more. Laptops and handheld devices come in handy in this digital era. Some may even see them more advantageous as typing down notes is faster and helps one note every word said by the professor. Moreover. Laptops help students engage more in online academic activities and forums, collaborate more on papers and assignments, as well as access more academic material online. If you want to synthesize material, see new connections, draw inferences, apply knowledge in situations and evaluate evidence, you need to consider writing notes by hand. The next thing is to test yourself. Tests do not have good rapport in the academic field. Students hold quizzes in low regard. Professors do not like grading tests. While educational practitioners advise that too many tests may prompt teachers to teach to the test, which takes away creativity from the classroom. The general idea is that reading information over and over gives us a false sense of familiarity with the material being read. Students end up thinking that they know the subject and yet they haven't tried retrieving it. Regular testing will help you commit the actual subject material to your mind's memory. Finally, you should pick the most suitable time for, for study. When is the best time to study? This is an age-old question whose debate never gets old. Everyone seems to have an answer to it and believes that what works for them will work for the rest. However, frankly speaking, we are all different and we have our preferences. The reality is that whichever time you choose to study, no one is exactly a winner. Some people have more cognitive ability in the morning, while others may find it more suitable to study at night or in the afternoon. During your most suitable time, schedule to do the most challenging tasks as that is when your brain is most alert and productive. This brings me to the end of the video. If you have enjoyed it and benefited from it, kindly subscribe and see you in the next one.